Okay, everybody. So I will discuss uh, a quickie uh, about uh, pull up and pull down resistors, what they are, and uh, why we need them. Uh, so I, I guess probably most of you guys have uh, come to the point where you uh, should try to connect a button. Uh, and basically when you connect a button, you want to do a digital read. So instead of uh, comparing, for example, with the LED examples, where you want to write or output some voltage to a digital pin, you instead want to read a voltage on a digital pin. And this digital read function, um, this one here, Uh, it takes uh, a pin number, so for example, I might want to read uh, the value on pin number 8. Uh, and this function will basically try to measure the voltage on pin number 8. And it wants to measure the voltage between 5 volts and 0 volts, that is ground, basically equivalent, uh, and, and the voltage in between. Uh, but digital read returns a boolean or uh, an integer. So it doesn't say, OK, it, you can't read, like, is it half of the 5 volts? It will try to set on low or high. So if, it's, if it, uh, the uh, pin has a voltage of, for example, 2.4 volts, it will be interpreted as being uh, low or zero or false. If it is instead, uh, for example, 2.6 volts, it will be interpreted as being high or one or true. Like so. Uh, so that is uh, basically how the digital read function works. So if you want to connect a button and read its value, so you would uh, first of have a pin, and we let's continue with pin number eight. So let's uh, think that we have this pin number eight here on the Arduino, uh, and we have. Uh, a button we want to connect. What would happen if I just took a cable directly from pin number 8 and connect it to the button? Let's see, let's draw this button like so. And connect it here. What happens uh, if I press or depress the button now? Well, basically nothing happens. Uh, because what are we actually trying to measure uh, with this pin? The pin is connected to the cable and it goes all the way here. And what you actually measure here is, well, the air, kind of. So there is not a defined value or there is not a defined voltage here. Uh, so what uh, you might have tried is to then connect through the button uh, and make it connect to either ground or to 5 volts. But let's now play around and say we've connected it to ground. So, if I press this button down here now, there will be a connection in here. And we will read the voltage here, and we will see that the value is actually 0 volts, or ground. So, if we press it down, we, will we would receive a low, or a 0, or a false, from the digital read function. But what happens when we release the button? Well, we are still measuring the air, and what would happen is actually that the value might fluctuate because the voltage in the air could be like going up and down, and it's always, uh, yeah, just a lot of disturbance and a lot of fluctuations. So, what we need is to uh, try to make the uh, pin have a defined state or defined voltage also when we are not pressing the button. So this is why we use something which is called a pull-up or a pull-down resistor. In this case, uh, we have uh, 
made the connection through the button to ground, so when you press the button, it will be grounded. Then we want, uh, because of this, we want the, the pin to be interpreted as high, or as the opposite of ground, which is higher than uh, 5 volts, when we are not pressing the button. And we can connect the pin, not only to the button, but also through a resistor to 5 volts. What would happen now? Well, if we don't press the button, we will see that we actually have a connection through this resistor to 5 volts. And this one will read, the pin will read when we call this function, what is the voltage? Well, the only thing I'm connected to, says the pin, is 5 volts. So it will be a reading of 5 volts and it will be interpreted as uh, high or 1 or true. So it, this uh, pin will be interpreted as high. But as soon as we press the button down, there will be a connection also to ground. And the key factor here is that this connection doesn't have a resistance. There is no resistor on this path. So it becomes kind of easier for the voltage to come across here than it is for the voltage to be across here. So because there is no resistance here, and there is a lot of resistance here through this resistor, when you press it down, it will be interpreted as zero volts or as ground. And then it will be low. And this is called a pull-up resistor because this resistor connected through here pulls up the reading when you're not pressing the button. What we could do is to turn this around and use instead a pull down resistor. So instead of pulling up to 5 volts, we would connect this resistor to ground to pull the voltage down. All right? But if we now press the button here, it would not make a difference because, well, we are measuring from this path here, we are measuring 0 volts ground. And from here, we are also measuring 0 volts ground. So then I would also change this one to be 5 volts. So then when I press it, there will be a big reading uh, from 5 volts and it will go high when I press it. So this is the difference between pull-down and pull-up resistors. Um, what actually happens, uh, what it would read when I press this down here, for example, it would probably not read 5 volts, but it might read uh, 4.9 volts or something like this, because this one is still connected and it will actually try continuously to pull, pull down the voltage on the pin but this one is much stronger and it will pull it perhaps up to 4.9 or something like that. And it will still be read as a high voltage then. Um, maybe I should try to show that. We have a button here. Let's try to actually connect that one. Uh, I will use pin number eight, as I said. And I will first connect uh, the button without um, a pull down or a pull up resistor. And I will use pin eight and I will make it as an input. Uh, and we will see what we get. I will print out the value of the button all the time in the console. Perhaps I will insert a small delay not to overload the serial port. Hmm. 
can get the code uploaded. Okay, so here we are. Um, as you see, it's basically reading zero all the time. So that is a problem. So what I need then to do is to use this resistor that we discussed and also connect that one. So now I will actually make use of a pull-up resistor and pull up the voltage on the pin before the button to 5 volts. And now you will see that it reads 1. When I press it, it goes to 0. So now we always have a defined voltage or defined state of the uh, button. And now comes the super cool secret trick that I think most of you don't know. Many microcontrollers, including Arduino, have a built-in functionality. It actually has a built-in uh, pull-up resistor. So, if we go to, uh, to this sketch I draw here, and we go back to have a pull-up resistor like the one I just connected, 5 volts there, and through the button to ground, like so. If we want to connect a lot of buttons, it would be a hassle. It would take so much time, it would be a lot of work just to make all the circuitry done. Most microcontrollers, including Arduino, have the possibility to connect this resistor on the inside. There is actually already a resistor inside the Arduino on the ship. But you have to uh, write some specific code to activate it. So basically, take this whole part, this connection here, and move it to the inside of the Arduino. So let's not pretend like this is the border of the Arduino anymore. It's uh, here is the border of the Arduino. And then it's uh, connected internally on the inside. And here is where you connect the button then. So if we enable this in the code, we don't have to actually connect the resistor in our breadboard. And let's, uh, let's try that now. I will go back to the coding. And what you have here is when you set pin mode, Instead of only writing input, you can actually write input pull up. This will basically configure the uh, digital pin number eight to also be uh, to be an input pin, but also connect the internal pull up resistor. And then I don't any longer have to use this resistor here on the breadboard. So I will now actually remove this one. And as you see, the now only connection is from pin number 8 through the button and to ground. Uh, and let's have a look. As you see now, it's fluctuating. It was weird behavior. But if I now upload the new code, we should get a stable reading. Uh, yeah, there we are, stable reading. And when I press it, it works basically as it did before when I used a pull-up resistor on the breadboard. But now I don't have to connect it because it's on the inside. All right, so that was it uh, regarding pull-up and pull-down resistors. Uh, I will soon actually have a small mini session again, uh, which, focusing, which will be focusing on something else. Cool.